Welcome back, everyone. And it is uh, the Craft Corner Friday. And I have been working during some of the commercials to try to, to finish this math that we started earlier. Mm -hmm. And I just want to tell you how quickly you can make one of these. It yeah. really is super quick. We started this literally less than an hour ago. We did. Is the paint dry? Yeah, touch it. OK, yeah. Touch it, see? Good. Even the pretty thing. Now, I did, during the commercials, I added a second coat of the pink mm -hmm. and a little bit of a second coat. And it's still dry. And of the green. Mm -hmm. And it's that dadgum easy. But of course, guess what watermelons have? Rhymes seeds and seeds. Yes. Now, did, did anybody else, my grandpa was a preacher. We used to have on Sundays, watermelon seeds spit in competitions. Oh, did you really? Did anybody else do that? Yeah. No. Did you, oh, yeah. okay. We used to do that at church on Sundays all the time. We'd eat after church uh -huh. and then have those competitions. I was like, that's a great were memory. Were you good at it? Terrible at it. Oh, darn. Terrible. Okay. I was I not very good. We also the have for watermelon rind throwing contests. Oh, really? Yeah, I've you're, done you're that. usually impromptu. <laughs> 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 to finish Still the project, does, yeah. I'm going to use some black craft paint mm -hmm. and a little paintbrush. Now, this paintbrush, again, you don't want it too big, too small. I just happen to have this in my workshop. Uh -huh. So I went and grabbed the paintbrush. Now, I'm going to dip it to see if you can see that. It's just kind of tiny. It almost has the shape of a watermelon seed, which mm -hmm. was appropriate. I didn't have to draw anything or trace anything. I'm dipping in my black paint, and guess what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put a little, I'm just going to wiggle it back and forth, just like that. Wiggle it. You're going to kind of get it down in that crevice. Uh -huh. But it's, look how easy that is. We're making seeds, no pattern. Yeah. And you just, Joy, do you want to do one? I, really, Super I, like to, easy. I like to watch you paint, Joy. I should be able to do In that. In that beautiful shirt. In the beautiful yes. top. Yes. Here's, that I'm here's something so I fancy. notice also. And yes. this is the difference between my doing something like that and you doing something. You know, I would have put everything in the middle, but. What you, and you can see it on, on the other one here. There's parts of the watermelon yes. that you just see. Because so you want to, yeah, everything. exactly, Tom. What a good eye you have, first of all. I'm well, glad you I caught just, that. Well, I wouldn't have done it, though. I saw it, but I wouldn't have done it. I'm so it. appreciative of that because you want it to feel like it's a continuous pattern yeah. that just happened to fall on the welcome mat. Yeah. So, of course, on a continuous pattern of fabric, when you cut it, you know, you're going to have, have that pattern cut off. Right. So I put a part, of a, part of a watermelon here, and on this side over here, you can see it's part of the green, yeah. the rind of it. Right over here. Well, you're getting a flow to it is what's Absolutely. happening. It's not just a chunk of time. And let me tell you a quick technique that could be fun for this. It's called the penny technique. Uh -huh. What this is, you get a handful of pennies. Let's say you want to put 11 watermelons on there. You okay. grab 11 pennies, toss them up in the air, and wherever the penny lands, you put a watermelon, and that's the most random way to get Are the pattern. Are you kidding me? I'm really? not kidding yeah. you. It's, it's Because if you try to plan it to be random, there's always going to be a thought behind it. Yes. And it will never be as random well, as, soon as you as say, throwing the oh, pennies. Well, I'll put it here instead of there. Yes. You're just making a pattern. Well, even on this one, before I did the penny technique on this one, yeah. I was still questioning myself to make it random. Oh, okay. So I said, Jeremy, stop. Get your pennies. Throw them up wherever they land. Really? That's right. And I've also done that with accent tile before. Oh, I've tiled the bathroom nice. floor. Throwing up the pennies, and wherever the pennies land, you put an accent tile. The most accurate way to get a random pattern. I had no idea. I well, would, that's, that's very cool. That's very right. Look how fun. Joy, you did a great back. job. Thank you. Yes. I might give away both of these now since we finished it. All right. You got autograph it. Yep. Go I'll autograph it. Page. Share, like, and comment. There you go. Have a great weekend, Have everybody. a great weekend. Bye. Call me. Text me. <laughs>